Uh, good morning everyone today's game i'm gonna teach you tactical lessons the way of tactics and the basics and what all the things involved in tactical combinations and everything first of all in basic okay there are many types of tactics first thing is pin next deflection overload decoy double attack fork discover attack clearance abstraction re remove the defender and many other things okay so we are gonna learn everything one by one in this tactical situation. okay first we will start with pin so today i'm gonna start show you a game regarding pin d4 knight f6 c knight f3 e6 c4 b6 a3 uh this is a queen's indian game where a3 without Black, white is preventing bishop b4 bishop b4 such that uh, he will play bishop b7 now and occupy the e4 okay so here black converted this queen's indian to slav variation so he played c6 knight c3 and d5 cd5 ed5 now this variation became slow okay now he played bishop f4 a6 stopping the pin of bishop b5 and later playing b5 bishop b7 knight e4 so white played a good move rook c1 taking control on the c file bishop b7 e3 now black played uh, knight c6 i think which is mistake why because he didn't see the tactical move instead of knight c6 you could have played bishop e7 and castle will be good for black so played knight c6 now knight b5 okay the, uh, if he takes a b5 now for example bishop into b5 and this pin this piece is overloaded this piece is under pin okay so after rook c8 queen a4 will lose this piece for example after queen d7 knight e5 immediately wins the piece and a pawn and white is attacking so uh, okay so rook c8 he played rook c8 after knight b5 and queen a4 now the threatening is again the same after a into b5 bishop into b5 this knight is under attack and you cannot prevent with even queen d7 or any other move so he played knight d7 trying to remove the from, from the pin so knight d7 and now white played knight c7 trying to maintain the pin in the c file okay he played rook c7 and bishop into a6 so i think black here played a mistake uh, he could have played with knight db8 and maintain the position after knight bd8 bishop bishop c7 maybe queen c7 knight e5 queen d7 bishop into b b7 or bishop b5 king bishop b5 can hold this position okay i think this position is little okay for black so after bishop a6 uh, white he gave bishop c7 queen c7 rook into c6 and queen b7 knight e5 bishop e7 and b4 with the idea of b5 so this position i think white is better clearly why because he's taking he's threatening knight d7 b5 so he played f6 and b5 which are b5 qb5 
now f into e5 is the only move and castles will brings the other rook into action if we if black castles then rook e6 and rook rook f c8 rook doubling with a good, good advantage for black white and this e7 and d into e5 will leads into a good advantage after casting rook e6 bishop f6 d e5 knight e5 or rook double on the c, uh, c file threatening rook c7 so he played e into d4 and rook f c1 threatening rook c7 so king d8 now e d4 rook f8 a4 with the idea a5 bishop g5 rook c2 now rook f4 a5 rook into d4 g3 and rook d1 j king g2 rook a1 uh, uh, now i think the position is already clearly better for white so he simply grabs with a b6 now rook c7 or rook e6 or rook d6 with a clear advantage even with both rooks on c7 so he played knight b8 prevent attack in this rook and rook d6 check here no, here black resign in view of after king d7 king e7 rook c7 wins the queen so this is how this is a good example on on pin and how to exploit a pin okay now we are gonna have in the next class i will gonna show you what is the deflection okay what is what does deflection means okay deflection uh, in the course of game we try to deploy our pieces as actively as we can we try to dominate our opponent's pieces some of them are needed for protection of important squares and lines and other same goes for our opponent a piece can perform various functions and it can defend another piece or pieces or important defensive points especially around the king if the square the particular piece is protecting is ritual for our opponent it may be worth our while to sacrifice material to deflect the pieces we can use use deflection in two general ways either to profit immediately or to create a deadly mating attack against your opponent or to gain tempo and time in deflections so i'm going to show you a game with this with an example what is a deflection okay so here white played d4 k d4 knight f6 c4 g6 mc3 bishop g7 e4 d6 knight f3 castles bishop e2 now this is king's indian defense knight a6 castle e5 bishop e3 and g4 so this is a uh, king's indian defense i'm gonna just keep the example for deflection that's it so bishop g5 queen e8 and c5 head 6 bishop h4 ed4 and d5 g5 bishop into a6 g into h4 knight c7 queen c6 and c into d6 b into a6 rook c1 queen d6 knight into a8 h3 so after knight c7 hg rook e1 d3 and d5 now bishop d4 now okay in this position just pause for a few minutes and see try to find what is the deflection what did i said what is the deflection meaning so just pause this position for a few minutes and think what is the deflection 
need to just uh, support this pawn and just need to deflect this other pawn such that this d4 bishop will be under attack uh, okay i think uh, you all saw what is the deflection see here play rook e2 a good move supporting the f2 and trying to deflect this d2 pawn to e2 such that this d4 bishop will be directly under attack so this is called a deflection so after d2 qd4 bishop b7 h3 bishop d5 ed5 nf6 rook c6 qd5 queen f6 queen f3 ef3 e king after after 30 moves from here I just gradually won the game by taking rook a6 h6 and queen g3 and exchanging these queens and won this game. So okay, this is a good example of deflection. Uh, rook e2. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the body's deflection. So in the next episode, I'm gonna uh, teach you overload. So uh, all the tactics positions I'm analyzing for spin deflection now overload what is a overload uh, overload means uh, overload occurs when a piece has more than one duty and when it is forced to carry out one or one of these tasks this leaves it unable to perform its other functions for example a piece might be protecting two or more pieces simultaneously or might be guarding a number of critical squares the removal of a inhalation inhalation of an overloaded piece may 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 bring about a total collapse of the defense okay i'm going to show you an example in what is an overload uh, okay this is an example um, of overload see now what black queen is defending the rook on c1 and this rook is also defending the rook on c1 okay the and black queen should also prevent one more square which is b6 why because after a b6 rook a4 will be a checkmate so overload occurs now the queen is overload the queen have to protect the b6 square and the rook on c1 why because there is two attacks on the c1 and there is two supports to the c1 so this uh, this is why overload occurs now we have to checkmate that the threatening is knight b6 check and rook a4 is a checkmate so white black queen have to take to queen b6 and white will grab simply grab rook on rook on c1 and rook into c1 queen into c1 queen into d4 and queen c8 will be a checkmate knight b6 queen b6 rook into c1 rook into c1 queen into c1 and there is a checkmate on c8 so this is a good example of overload in the next example i will show you what is decoy and how decoy comes okay